Everyone, thank you very much for coming to the Faces of Advocacy virtual rally for family reunification. We have an exciting lineup. All of us here, cross-partisan, but united on one simple fact, and that is to bring our families together. It is time to bring our families together. It is time to show them that we can do it safely, and it is time to reunite. To everyone here, if instead of clapping, type in time to reunite. When you're ready to thank the MPs who bravely stand with us. When you're ready to thank the people who have worked so hard to bring us together. And when you are ready to tell the government that we are going to work hard and show them that we can reunite with our families safely. We are doing a virtual reality, a virtual rally today to make sure that everyone knows that we're not going to be protesting on the streets. We are going to not be um, uh, unsafe and we're going to do this diligently with the best quarantine, the best social distancing, and the best way to be with our families. I want to thank every single one of you who are here. We have had an overwhelming response for the Face of Advocacy campaign, but today, the focus isn't on the campaign, it's on the MPs who have stood for us, who have said that we want families to be together and who have made the stand in a difficult political climate to bravely say that we are ready to be together. This is the time to reunite. Now you've all seen the schedule, we have a fantastic list and each one of them are our champions. We are going to have this both in English and in French, this will be recorded and we posted later on. But right now, I want you all to know that these MPs who are with us today are those who we thank to bring us together. And we are so grateful for that. So time to reunite inside the chat box. Our first speaker is the Shadow Cabinet Minister for the IRCC, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship of Canada. She stood in the House of Parliament well before uh, many others and asked the questions about how to bring families together. She took an open letter recently just to make sure all of Canada knew how important being with our families are. So it is my pleasure and my gratefulness to both extend our thanks and to extend our welcome to MP Dancho. Thank you, Dr. Poon, and thank you, David. It's been such a pleasure to get to know you over the last number of weeks, and follow, I've been following your journey. And it's really just let me say, I think all of all everyone on this call, I'm sure, would agree. The full gratitude goes to to you and your leadership and your incredible courage. Uh, I've been in politics for over six, seven years now, and I've never ever seen a group come together like this in such a respectful dignified and intelligent and passionate way. That's really, I mean, you have how many MPs on the call today? That is unbelievable. And just full applause to you for what you've accomplished. It really is remarkable. So full, full gratitude to you. And uh, I'll just 